This is ABC 7 News This Morning. Coming up on 5.13 right now and at 5.30, before you head to the stores today, we've got a couple of tips for making those returns a bit easier. Later today, of course, as shoppers head back to the stores out there to look for those deals this day after Christmas. Coming up next, we're live with the big return day, returning those presents. We'll be right back. <laughs> Coming up, if you have gifts to return, like my wife, we'll tell you what you need to know before you head to the stores today. <laughs> It's back to the stores today. They'll be busy with people making returns, but before you head out this morning, we've got some tips to help you navigate. Here's Judy. So we're here with Jackie Warwick, a money-saving expert from CouponCabin.com. It's the day after Christmas, and we're talking about, okay, after you've gotten all your presents, maybe you want to return some, and Jackie has some tips and advice on how to do it properly and make sure that you get, you know, what your gift is worth. Welcome! Thank you for having me. Um, so what do we do? What's the first thing that we should keep in mind if we're thinking about returning a gift? Well, of course, you always want to try and have your sales receipt, because that'll make the process right. super easy. You also want to keep a level head, be patient, and maybe wait a couple of days to avoid the largest crowds. Now, what if you don't have a receipt? Of course, you know, we try to give, give a gift with a gift receipt, but what if you don't have one? Well, if you don't have a receipt, you have to explore your options. You know, you may have to be up for receiving a store credit instead. Um, you may also want to consider re-gifting the gift um, <laughs> while being careful. Okay. Um, and or putting it up on eBay to try and get some of your money back that way. Oh, that's an interesting thought. Now, what about gifts that you got that somebody ordered online and sent it to you? Well, all of the online stores have different policies, so it's important to research exactly what your limitations are. For, depending on the type of gift it is, you know, they may have different days to return. Um, but one thing to consider is the fact that some of them give you return shipping labels to use at no cost. Mm -hmm. So that's always a plus. Now, when you don't have a receipt for a store, it is the general policy that you get a store credit? Well, every store is different. Every cashier is going to be different. But yes, that's something that you may have to to be getting back. In. I do like your one big advice, though. You got to keep your cool right now, because even when you go back, there are going to be long lines, right, of people returning gifts. Yeah, with the holidays come returns and sometimes some chaos. <laughs> yeah, so be nice and be polite, and you know maybe you'll you know get your way. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. All right, happy holidays, everybody.